<clears throat> and we're back. Got my glass of water here. Hello, hello. No, I don't know you. You don't know me? You don't have to know me. Hello, Mr. Police Officer. What? Oh. Why are you walking around with a drawn weapon? It's dangerous. And why are you wearing sunglasses in the night, huh? I wear my sunglasses at night. All right. Um, we are walking to and fro between Jiwenja and Lufang. Right. Now Lufang offered me 80%. So let's see if he offers me 90. <laughs> Where my key? Lu offered me 80% if I kill you. Listen, Lu is evil man. He trick you. Hell, he tried to kill you after you give him key. Ji Wen Cha is your friend. I give you 80 same as Lu. But Lu, he deserves to die. Please rid the earth of big, drunk and evil. I swear I give you 80. No trick. Okay, I never liked Lou anyway. Goodbye. <laughs> now, let's think about this for a while. I was an evil bastard to begin with, and now that I'm undead, I'm evil incarnate. <laughs> and, of course, this guy is uh, most probably a pedophile. And since I'm an evil git, I couldn't care less. My decision is going to be I'm going to kill Lu Fang. I'm going to give the key to him. Why? First of all, because he's an evil git. Second of all, because he's still dangerous, and I like that. The other guy is a drunkard. Unreliable. No good as a hitman anymore well I guess this guy could still shoot quite well um, but my most obvious reason is of course if I kill Ji Wen Jia it's going to be in the open there might be witnesses I might get a violation or even a masquerade breach and let's be honest I can't afford that to happen Lu Fang on the other hand is prone to go to the toilet quite a lot and there I could simply wipe him out with nobody watching so yeah my decision has been made oh hello baby um actually there I'm what was that what what look I'm undead I am not aroused it's not possible Right, this lady over there. See, Gaynor's dead. Oh, there he is. Hello. Bartender! Lu Fang got American history test for you. Who was a. Yabza Jagogu, Jason Yagolo. What? Hey, hello there again, mister. You find that key I was looking for? Um. G said he'll give me 80% for your key. That's it then. Why not, huh? Ji Wen Jia, lazy opium smoker pervert. You can choose. Work with pervert Jivenza, or work with Lu Fang, who like you. It give you 80% first. You're right, Lu Fang. I'll be right back with G's key. Wait. <laughs> and of course I'm lying. <laughs> Why should I tell you the truth? Nobody's watching. And you're dead. There we go. What we got here? Key? Ooh, he had a gun. The nasty git. Um, by the way, um, this is quite dark. Let me turn up the gamma. Oh, yes. Let's turn that up. There. Because I know that um, YouTube tends to darken videos, so I don't want you guys to stare at the black screen and go like, what the hell is Pike going on about? What? What? There we go. 
So let's make the uh, bastard over there. Happy bastard. Hello. Hello. Where are my key? I got your key. Where's my money? Ha! Lu in hell drinking demon piss. I win Lu! Ha ha! Oh, this happiest day I've had in 50 years. I dance on your grave, Lu! <laughs> That was basically worth it. <laughs> Not that it wasn't fun, but can I have my money? Sure, sure. I give you your money, but I have to get money first. You give me key, I go get money. You meet me here later for big dollar. Really? You know what will happen to you if you don't pay, right? Here's the key. Don't worry. Jiu and John are going to trick you. I'll be back later. Have money then. Maybe I buy a new suit for Lou's funeral. Ha ha ha. You'd better have the money, or else. All right. Good. That was fun. So what do we do now? What do we do now? You give Ji Wen Jia Lu Fang's key. Come back later to get your money. Zhao. I could do that, but I don't really have enough weapons, or not the right weapon. Oh, I've got 20. Of course, I'm a shooter, so I should increase my shooting. Ranged combat is inspection and firearms. This is 12. Sure. Um, but you know, I'm in the mood for a little change of scenery. So, um, why don't we see what else we can do? Santa Monica is finished downtown. Hmm. I've repaired the elevator up into the main library area. Now you can continue to look for trouble. I didn't find anything there. But Probably because I'm missing the library card. And I don't know where it is. Prince wants the sarcophagus now. He can wait, the stupid git. I've retrieved the fetish from the museum for Pisha. I still need to find the book from the Giovanni mansion. But I can't go there yet. So, Hollywood. Mm. Oh, yes. Let's do the gargoyle. Gargoyle. Absolutely. So, perhaps you should pay Maximilian Strauss, the Treme Regent, a visit. Das tun wir doch gern, die Österreicher. Nicht wahr? Alright, let's visit the Austrian Max. Because he's bound to know something about gargoyles. It's funny, I usually play games totally blind. This one, I've played... Let me guess, let me, uh, let me think for a moment. I think this is my 14th run. I got this game basically the day it came out. Huge Vampire the Masquerade fan. I've been playing it ever since. So, yeah. Um, yeah, let's do the gargoyle thing. Good, good. That, that's a good one. Dr. Max. Hello. Hop in. Sure, why not? Let's go to down. Town, downtown, da 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 da. Yes, and uh, talk to Maximilian Strauss, which is a famous Austrian name, Strauss. Hmm? You all heard of the composer, I guess. <laughs> Johann Strauss. Was he Austrian? I think he was. But I, like I said, it's it's a, it's not only an Austrian name. Um, you have people living in Germany who are called Strauss as well. But I uh, I spent some time in Vienna, and I got to know exceptionally many people who were called Strauss. <laughs> so, all right. Hello, Nate. How can I be of assistance? Do you have a few minutes to talk with me? Of course. Of course, I want to be suave. I want to get on this guy, this guy's side, because 
I want him to owe me favors. Because I see him being a rogue, Tremere. I want to get into this house and clan business. That's my road to power. So, I'm going to try to make him happy. And also, get him into my pocket. I have a question for you about gargoyles. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? <laughs> It seems that one lives in an old theater in Hollywood. I have some questions. What can I tell you about them? Ha! <laughs> Is there something special about this gargoyle? Share your secrets with me. <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death. But it seems my creation still lives to torment me. <laughs> I knew it. What, your creation? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant and saved my life more than once. Your life. <laughs> he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. I see. Well, Isaac Abrams has asked me to get rid of the gargoyle, which actually would coincide with your plans, because you would, of course, also would like him to disappear, right? Isaac Abrams? His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out... It will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? Of course. Completely. I will protect the secrets of the clan. Ah, I see that you've learned well. Mm -hmm. Despite the indiscretions of your sire, you are proving to be an asset for the clan. I commend and thank you, Neomate. Yes, please commend me. <laughs> yeah, now I've got him. I, I really got him. I mean, he needs me now because I, I've got him in, in, the, in the palm of my hand. I could now go out and rat on him. I'm, I could tell the Anarchs all about this, which would be a great humiliation for him especially. And, of course, since I've got this information, I can always dangle it above his head, going like, if you're not nice to me, I will tell on you. <laughs> um, but I mustn't overdo it, of course, or he'll get rid of me. He must see me as more of an asset than a threat. So he, he will outbalance this, and then... Um, He'll probably get the right idea, so... Hmm. No problem. Now, what should I do? Here, take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. Hmm. Thanks, but how do I best fight the gargoyle? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Duh. Blood force is the only thing they understand. <sighs> now, of course, I said I would play this as a shooter, and I would use guns only. Unless, of course, the quest specifies otherwise. This is what I was talking about. It's absolutely nonsensical to attack a gargoyle. It's, it's, it's a moving statue with a gun. You'll just chip off little chunks. It's not. No, you have to use a sledgehammer or dynamite would actually also be cool, but okay. Okay. Good. Thanks. I'm out of here. And of course I know where to get this sledgehammer. No problem at all. There we oh, oh, hold it. Because, of course, um, since I've played this game a lot, I know that up there is an apartment that I absolutely want to have. It's the best apartment in the whole game. I want it. 
and he can give it to me if I make him happy, which is what I'll do. I'll go to Hollywood and get the sledgehammer. You can buy it at the Ola store. Ola, welcome to... What was the name of the store? Home of the Monstro Chug. La la la, blah blah. Forgot about it. Um, but shouldn't be a problem. We'll just... Oh, and he gave me this now. This strange talisman is unusually heavy, emanating a palpable power. It reduces the amount of damage done by gargoyles. Great. So, ooh, lots of firearms here. Oh. Hold it. Um, money. Oh, I only have $59? Damn it. I got to go back to Lu Fang first, because as far as I remember, the sledgehammer is a little bit over a hundred bucks. So I can't get it with $59. Um... Or can I sell some? Oh, maybe I can get some stuff from Venus again. Which means I need to turn off the music. I really hate this, but um, I must admit I actually thought about stopping this Let's Play and deleting all of the videos. But I love this game so much, but all the other games that I've Let's Played, no problem. Um, I sometimes get a uh, copyright notice on Oblivion, but it's always wrong, and I just have to dispute it like one or two days later. It's gone. Um, I got one copyright notice on uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Actually, I had several, but I could, I was able to get rid of all of them. Unfortunately, uh, there are quite a few companies who believe that they have the right to the soundtrack, although. Uh, Eidos Montreal and uh, Square Enix actually stated that no, the, the soundtrack is ours. It's not true. Um, I still have one copyright notice um, around that I can't get rid of, but that's actually a YouTube problem, and because of that stupid interface, that, which is not letting me do an appeal. Um, something wrong there. So I'm, I'm trying to get in touch with YouTube, which is also basically impossible to get that solved. But, yeah, it's one video. And it's the end. It's the last video of Deus Ex. But, Vampire the Masquerade. I, I don't know. I initially had like 12. At the moment I still have 5. And these record companies, because I'm dealing with record companies here, they just don't get it. Fair use, act, they don't care. It's just 10 seconds, they don't care. They just ignore you. They, even the wrong title. I have a copyright notice on one of the videos stating this is this and this song from uh, Ministry, and it's the wrong song. It's it's not. It says this is uh, Psalm 23, and it's not. It's Bloodlines. The song is called Bloodlines. It was specifically written for this game. And I actually wrote to them, and they said, "Yeah, so it's the wrong song." We're still not accepting your dispute. No. We're just going to be bastards about it. My man, what is up? My favorite. So, I don't know. I'm probably going to end this Let's Play now. I'm going to play through it now. And then I'm, I'm just going to take those videos which are left. And I'm going to use this YouTube option to just remove the song. So we'll just have holes of no sound in the video. If anybody has had any experience with this and how, if it works fine or if it totally messes up the video, uh, please post a comment. I'm all ears. I need to do some shopping, Larry. Uh, do I? Do I have anything to sell, actually? Yeah, the Ingram. Yo, man, got a Galapagos turtle. This week only. A Galapagos turtle and spas. Yo, yo, yo. It. I hate Obala it. Ears, lazy eye hammocks and dwarf saddles right here. Okay. This throwing star is worthless. I don't know what that is, actually. I've got a watch here. 15 bucks. This is all magic oh, stuff man, that this this week helps me. Boosts my charisma. Yo, 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 I got dinosaur eggs. We don't know what kind. Buy them and hatch them. 
Yo, 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 I got dinosaur eggs. We don't know what kind. But I'm in head. Sell this. Okay, what's that? Clock ammunition is full. Cold anaconda. Yo, yo, yo. Can't the afford. Right here, man. Okay, um, so Venus. See if she's got some money. Okay, oop. So, sorry about that. Uh, really hate to do this. Audio, volume. This really sucks. But, not gonna have any more videos flagged. That's it. Not taking it anymore. These are my Let's Plays. They belong to frickin' me. And if they put real songs in the soundtrack, it's not my problem and it's not my fault. I purchased this game a long time ago. Yeah, so hey. Venus! Uh, she doesn't have anything. Great. <sighs> All for naught. Okay, so we'll have to go back to G1 Ja and get that money because that's pretty considerable a sum. So yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Pike is signing off. I'll see you in the next episode.